Hello everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force. Now, uh, the, those of you who may may know me from some other places or, or know me, you know, just in general, you guys probably know me from my Yu-Gi-Oh! And, uh, you know, that's, uh, I think that's a good place to start for this channel here. And if it wasn't for this game, I probably wouldn't even really know what Yu-Gi-Oh! is. Aside from watching a little bit of the anime, this was the first exposure that I ever had to the game. Oh, I'm just gonna, gonna try to play a duel here really quick. Uh, we're not, uh, we're not worried about all that. We're gonna, we're just gonna skip that. And, um, yeah, I played this game as a kid for the PS2 under the name, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Beginning of Destiny. Really, uh, different name. Uh, but I, uh, I ended up realizing that, that it was this game, and you know what? Here we are, and we're gonna play it, and we're gonna start a new game. So we're gonna press the X button to change our name. Playing this on the PPS, uh, PPSSPP emulator, in case anybody was curious about that. And we are gonna name ourselves something that some of you guys may be more familiar with. You know, we're gonna go with the Koji here. Go with the Koji. Um, I guess this is the alternate universe where Koji went to, to Duel Academy. So, I'm just gonna accept that. And overwrite the uh, the test uh, the test save here, and I'm gonna go down to my options really quickly and turn some of this stuff down just a tad, well, about about halfway, and a little bit less. We'll just uh, that, that looks good to me. I think that seems fine. All right. We're gonna go up to story mode. I overshot it a little bit. We're gonna start from part one. First day, Monday. You must be Koji. Welcome to Duel Academy. I'm Chancellor Shepard. You have a line on your head on my screen. I don't know if you guys see that or not, but on the top of his head, that looks like somebody scalped him. I'm Chancellor Shepard. We aim to create the next generation of duelists. Study hard and become the next king of games. In three months, there will be a huge event on campus. We'll hold the Tag Force Tag Duel Tournament. You'll need to make friends and to find your tag partner. That's it for, for the introductions. Class is about to begin, so go to the classroom. At classroom, at classroom, your teacher Velian once waits for you. So, let's see who that Velian is. Make sure to do what Velian asks. Explanation. Move using the directional buttons or analog stick. Leave the Chancellor's office and go to the classroom. Press X to open the menu. If you select talk in the menu, you can go you can talk to the nearby person. So here we are, we get to move around a little bit uh, in the Chancellor's office. Um, press square, we can open our PDA here. And uh, let's do let's let's check out the deck. Because we do get a starter deck. Uh, I don't need to know these. So, uh, maybe I do actually, I <laughs> forget what, oh, okay, okay, it's that button, all right. So, uh, we have a bit of a water structure deck uh, here, as it would appear, because our boss monster here is Amphibian Beast, uh, nice, nice, uh, like, mini summon skull almost, he's, he's not bad. Akhmador, 2k defender, back to square one, not bad, Bolt Penguin, um, a penguin, Cannonball, Spear, Shellfish. This is a neat card that has some synergy with another card that we have. Diane Keto, the Cure Master. Not a very good card, if I'm going to be honest. Divine Wrath. Dust Tornado, pretty decent. Bean Kraken, two of them. Flying Penguin, another Penguin. Two of those. Uh, Gaga Gigo here is, I believe, our biggest attacker at 1850. That's not bad. Uh, Giant Red Sea Snake, also an 1800 attacker. Giant True Nate, always really good to see that. Humanoid Slime, two of them even. Uh, 2K Defender, always good to see those. Jellyfish, another one. Kappa Avenger, and another one. Main of the Aqua, a 2K Defender that acts as Umi, that's pretty neat. Mother Grizzly is a recruiter. Negate Attack, it it does what it says on the tin, and you know what, that's, that's all that we need. 
Uh, Night Lizard's kind of a bad card. Uh, Nightmare Penguin, though. Another Penguin. This one has an effect, and uh, he bounces stuff back to the hand. That's pretty decent. Also, also an 1800 Defender, um, which, you know, isn't quite 2k, but it's not bad. Nightmare Steel Cage will save us a couple of turns if we're uh, on the ropes. Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness is what I was talking about earlier. It has um, some synergy with that uh, that one card up there, as well as uh, Torpedo Fish, which we've yet to see, but I believe we have one in this deck. Power of Kaishin, a nice little equip spell for the Aquas. Salvage is, is pretty good for a water deck. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, one of my personal favorite water monsters. Um, it just looks cool. Look at the guy. Look at this guy. He's cool. Share the Pain. Uh, some decent decent removal, I'll, I'll say that. Not, not good, but decent. Star Boy's going to give us some more attack. Steel Shell's another equip. Stim Pack is another equip. Card's kind of a double-edged sword, because as you can see, it'll give you 700 attack, which is pretty good. Like Horn and the Unicorn. But then it'll, it'll make your monster lose 200 attack points. Uh, at each of its uh, standby phases. That means each of your standby phases, of course. Gotta love that old Yu-Gi-Oh card text. Uh, there's the Torpedo Fish, and while Umi's face up on my field, he's unaffected by spell effects, which um, I hope I will remember that, because uh, when I was doing some test tools and, and things, I, uh, I may have messed up. Uh, Umi, of course, centerpiece of the deck. Wabaku's pretty good. This card, Watch Dragon Fairy, not good. Yomi Ship is really good, though. Um, card that I may end up keeping for a while. Um, just just kills whatever it, uh, it destroys it in battle, which is pretty nice. And that is the deck. Um, definitely plenty of room for improvement, but hey, that's why we're here. Uh, and if any of you guys are wondering, why is Koji using a water deck? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Maybe, maybe in this alternate universe, that's that's just what he plays. So we can now see the map. Nice dual academy island here. Hit A or um, X on this, and we can we have a couple options here. But all we can really do is go to the chancellor's office again, or to the classroom. So let's go to the classroom now. And who the fuck is that guy? Let's talk to him. Hee <laughs> hee. There's a new student coming today. His scores on the admittance test were rather impressive. This may be my chance to get rid of Dropout Boy. Ha ha ha. And he's very surprised. Uh, yes, good old, good old Velian Crowler. Um, a lot of people probably don't know his first name, and I didn't for a very long time, so... Um, this is, uh, this is him. Um, so, uh, let's, let's see what else he has to say. How long have you been there? Ahem. My name is Velian Crowler. I am by far the top teacher in the entire academy. I am well inclined to believe you. Feel free to brag to your friends about me. Yes. Ah, so you're Koji, the new transfer. And we have this guy. Who's, who's that? Who's, who's that guy? Who knows? Yeah, I beat you here, he says. Aw, oh, wait up, Jaden. Huh? Yep. Name dropping the boy himself. Silence or it's attention for you, says Velian Crowler. No, not that. Koji, don't become a slacker like him. Now I'll explain what I expect from you in class. You have class every day, Monday to Saturday. I don't know if it's like this in Japan, but if it is, god, that sounds terrible. Class begins promptly at 8 a.m. Don't be late. Study hard and you'll catch up in no time. You have a little time. You have a little time till class starts. Talk to the other kids and make some new friends. All right. So as he said, we have a little bit of time to, to walk around and see what's going on. Look at, look at these guys. Let's start with uh, oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Let's start with uh, with this dude. I've never seen you before. You new? I'm Chumley. Chumley Huffington. I flunked here, so I'm still a freshman. Nice. Uh, Nice Chumley uh, uh, introduction there. I actually quite like Chumley. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the the general like opinion in the community, but I, I think he's a cool dude. What do you want? A slifer slacker talks to the Chaz Princeton, not just the Chaz. The Chaz Princeton. What nerve! Stop bugging me. Step off. 
uh, you know, this is during Chaz's uh, douchebag arc, so he's still, you know, not the most friendly. Um, let's see what we got here. You're the newest transfer who came today. I'm Bastion Misawa. Nice to meet you. Class will start soon. I'll see how bright you are. I don't really like Bastion. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of glad that he didn't really get much screen time. <laughs> see what we got here. You're new here, aren't you? I can tell a lost puppy when I see one. Oh, screw you, dude. Come on. I'm Alexis Rhodes. Hope we'll be friends. Well, not with an attitude like that. If you ever get lost, feel free to ask me. Now for my favorite character. So you're new. Zane, no need to glare. This is Zane Truesdale, top duelist at Duel Academy. Zane is awesome. I don't know if I'm gonna try to have him be my partner in all honesty because I don't know what deck I'm gonna run in this game yet. I have some ideas but it's definitely not gonna be Cyber Dragon because I know like Cyber Dragon's typically considered the best deck in this game. Well Cyber Dragon OTK but I'm probably not gonna run it. It's definitely not gonna run it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick something else. I'm gonna do something a little bit more original. So, um, we, we may have him on our team anyway, because Cyber Dragon's pretty strong, but uh, maybe maybe you guys can help me decide. Uh, going up this way now to these guys. Let's talk to you first. Oh, hi, you're the new transfer, right? I'm Cyrus Truesdale. Not that it matters. You'll get better grades than me in no time. My man's putting himself down. It's okay. You'll, you'll be an obelisk eventually. Spoiler alert. Probably not in this game, though. Hey, you're the new kid. I heard all about you. I'm Jaden Yuki. I'm the top frosh duelist. It's sweet to meet you. Hope we get to duel soon. Hey, man, me too. Me too. Um, I think that's everybody we can talk to besides Crowler. So let's go return to him. Have a talk. Class is about to begin. Take your seats, children. All right. Let's see what this first day of class has to offer. Take your seats, time for class. And here we are. Now then, today we're learning the basics, like what a duel is. I'm sure most of you already know this stuff, but it never hurts to review. Let's get started. You've all played duel before. <laughs> You've all played duel, yes. But just to be safe, let's start at the beginning. You'll play with various types of cards. The duel field is where you place the cards. Draw a card from your deck. Uh, now I'm passing out some decks. Does everyone have a deck? Let's start with Cyrus. He could certainly use the practice. Damn. And gonna have me as well, of course. This is the, the, the tutorial here, if you, if you couldn't tell. Uh, I don't really need to know this, but hey, maybe some of you guys are new to the game that are watching this, so uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play through this. I feel like, uh, I feel like that's you know probably the fair way to do this. As a rule, duels are fought one on one. Cyrus Truesdale versus Koji. Are you ready to duel? Do I have to? Each player has 8,000 life points. Life points are called LP for short. The first player to reduce the other's LP to zero wins. In an actual duel, you decide who goes first with a game of rock, paper, scissors, but this time we're going to have Koji go first. Ready? Duel. First, you take. Yeah, okay, so it's just going to tell you the basics. You start with five cards in your opening hand. Uh, this gonna be playing by old school rules so um you'll uh, you'll actually be drawing for turn even if you go first kind of feels weird to do that but you know this is a different format and uh you know, he's just gonna kind of explain how that works so he's gonna show us how to summon a monster so we can pick any of these guys it doesn't really matter but you know i'm going with the penguin There he goes. Flying Penguin. Look at this guy. Yeah, so that's called summoning. Of course, um, that was a normal summoning, more specific. Uh, we have other things that we can do. Uh, so we're just gonna we're just gonna proceed to the end phase. I'm gonna kind of give you the clip notes version. You guys can pause and read on screen if you really uh, want to see Mr. Crowler here uh, with his spiel and. Um, so he's just going to have Cyrus do the same thing. He's going to ask, well, what, what do you do first? Well, you draw a card, of course. And 
and then yeah, summon a monster. And he's gonna summon Gunny Gumo. I actually have never seen this card outside of this game, so you know, fun fact there. I'm a little disappointed that he didn't mess up. Damn, what a man. Anyway, uh, yeah, the basics of monster summoning, all of that. Um, and then Cyrus is gonna ask if he can summon more. Nope, you get one normal summon a turn, as uh, as I'm sure most of you guys probably know. Uh, of course, there is other things, such as special summoning, but we haven't seen that, and I doubt we will for a decent amount of time, uh, as far as, like, from the deck or hand goes. Yeah, Cyrus normally would attack on his turn, because his monster is definitely way too weak, so that's the part that they left out. That's my turn. Try summoning a monster on my own. Alright. Flying Penguin Beatdown, baby, you better believe it. We're going all penguins all the time. So he's gonna tell us to go to the battle phase. We're just gonna do all that, do that. So uh, he's just gonna explain phases here. I'll give a brief rundown of this. Draw phase happens automatically at the start of your turn. Standby phase happens automatically after that. Then you go to the main phase where you can play cards. Um, and then uh, we'll we're gonna do the battle phase, so I might as well explain it while we actually do it. I mean, it's obviously not all that hard. Um, so here we go. It's like battle phase from the menu, so we're going to hit that, and it's going to do this, and now we have these little swords, and we can attack with our monsters. So we can pick any of these guys to go with, but since they're both flying penguins, we're just going to have them go in. It's basically going to say, uh, bigger number wins. Um, if a monster in attack mode is destroyed by another monster in attack mode, then the, the opponent receives damage. If it's in defense mode, regardless, it's, it's they're not going to take any damage, even if the monster is destroyed in battle. And then uh, direct attacks here, we have blah blah blah, yep. We have a direct attack, so you can, you can hit your opponent directly and they'll take the whole sum of the damage. In this case, it's 1200. And then you, you do have a main phase 2. It wants me to go to end phase, which I'm going to. But main phase 2 is the same as main phase 1. You can play any cards that, uh, that you have left in your hand. If you have it normal summoned, you can do it here. Uh, this is typically where people would like to set cards, like trap cards or other monsters, that sort of thing. Uh, we'll, we'll see the main phase 2 used a little bit. Um, once we actually get into the game, I'll, I'll definitely be making good use of that. So Cyrus is going to make a counterattack here. Let's see how he does. He summons Serpent Marauder. A card that I've also never seen outside of this game. Anyway. Oh, look at that. We got a we got a new monster. He's got, he's got more attack than the rest of these guys. As much as I'd like to play my third Flying Penguin, I think it's probably smarter to summon our Defender of the Sea. And then we're just going to go... Oh, we're just going to go back to the battle phase. Did not mean to mash A there. We're gonna have our flying penguin attack yet again. And Cyrus is gonna be very impressed with our 1200 attack point monster beatdown. And um, now at this point, it doesn't really matter who I attack with, so I'm just gonna go on with Defender of the Sea. I mean, it, it really didn't matter who I attacked with anyway, but I just feel better using the higher attack point monster to do direct damage. Just feels better. Uh, I'm gonna pass the turn there. This is obviously just like the bare basics of a duel. Uh, I don't, I don't think it tells you about spell cards in this one. It, it might, like traps or anything. Um, yeah, okay. And this guy is actually weaker than the rest of our dudes, so we're gonna just play our third flying penguin. Just have them all in a row right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I don't think this tells you about spell and trap cards and all of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and attack in sequence with all of these guys because it doesn't really matter. We're gonna win this turn anyway. But, um, I'll, uh, I'll explain those when we get into an actual duel. This is just to kind of, like, show, uh, brand new players, um, you know, some things that they can do. There's the bare minimum 
of a duel. And our penguins have won us the game. He says he just can't win. It's not nice to bully weaker players. I mean, I did kind of... I did kind of do that. So it's just going to give you a brief overview. Duel to fought one-on-one. -on -one. Only sometimes this game's called Tag Force. So, like, it's going to be tag duels, obviously. Uh, each player starts with 8,000. When, you know, you lose them all, you're, you're done. Uh, each player draws and has phases, you know, all that good stuff. You summon your monsters. You could set stuff, do that. Uh, attack, bigger attack point wins. Um, yeah, just said that. And in the case of a draw, either nothing happens if it's uh, if it's the attacking monster into a defending monster, nothing happens. If it's two monsters and attack mode with the same attack points, they just destroy each other. And that was a short class. He's just gonna have us uh, hand back the decks now. <laughs> Gives me heartburn. That's pretty good. All right. We're done with today's lesson. Koji, I'll show you your dorm. And this guy right here, cool dude. Well, I love this guy in the, in the anime. He says, actually, I'll handle it. I'm Professor Lyman Banner. I teach alchemy and I'm headmaster of the Cypher dorm. I'll leave it to you, Professor Lyman Banner. I really like how they just use the full names of people. Koji, please follow me. He could have just said Professor Banner and I would have like understood. This is your new home, the Cypher Red Dorm. Meow. Oh, hi, Pharaoh. This is Pharaoh. He's everyone's favorite. He just purrs. And I do love cats. He did a little twitch there. I don't think he liked when I said that. This is such a great dorm that even cats love it. Your room is 2.04. Oh, but before, it's dinner time, so eat first. Dinner is at 7 p.m. Meals here are always first come, first serve, so if you come late, there may be no food left. Sounds like dinner at my house. Eyes forward, students. Please join me in welcoming a new student. Koji, is just, Koji has just transferred to Cypher Red. I know, I'll get, I know you'll all get along. I'm trying to talk too fast. Can't do that. Now, Koji, please introduce yourself. So, you can speak with energy or speak quietly. Um, honestly, Koji would probably speak quietly. So, we're going to speak quietly here. The new kid's kind of depressing. Yeah, that's... That's Koji. Well, wouldn't you be if you were putting Slife for red? That's true. Well then, hooray, hooray, Koji. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Come on, Jaden. Don't be sad because you're in Slifer. We're here for ya. See, you've already made friends. Jaden Cyrus Chumley. After the meal, show Koji our rooms. Gotcha. Leave it to us, teach. Good, now let's eat. We're gonna have ourselves some dinner. Look at that. Nice. Whew, I chowed down big time. Alright, Koji, we'll take you to your room. Jaden, wait up. We shouldn't run for an hour after we eat. Whatever, let's go. This is your room, Koji. If you're roommates, then you get this room all to yourself. Lucky. But if you get lonely, stop by our room. Only two doors down. It's getting late. Time to catch some Z's. Yeah, Koji looks pretty wiped out. Now he just always looks like that. Let's go back to our room. See you tomorrow. Class starts at 8 a.m. Don't oversleep. And here we are on our next day. And I would never wake up at 5.45 a.m. for anything. Explanation. Class begins at 8 a.m. Time appears at the top right of the screen. It's 5.45 right now. I still have some time. Take a walk around this island. Use the directional buttons to move or to end exit this room. To run, move while pressing the circle button to record your progress in the game. It's like the save point in the bottom left of the map. That appears when you are outside. Warning, if you end the game without saving, you'll return to your previous save point. So, as you can see, we, we can walk around now. This is our dorm room, and uh, looks like we have Pharaoh over here. So this is something like, I, I really enjoy this about this game. Um, so you can talk to Pharaoh here. He says meow. 
and you can choose where to pet him. And depending on your choice, he may or may not come with you for the day. Uh, it's random each day that he shows up in your room. He doesn't show up every day. But it's random whether he wants to be petted on the head, the throat, or the back. So, uh, I'm going to pet him the throat for the next. He didn't seem to like it. So, uh, I don't think you can actually try again. I don't think he'll let you. Yeah, yeah you get one shot. Um, and if you have him with you... Uh, Characters are actually more likely to, uh, to you know, become friendly with you, although I uh, got a little unlucky. Uh, probably should have pet his, uh, his head or, or whatever the first option was, but you know what, it's fine. We're just going to go outside. Oh, Creeper. Let's, uh, let's talk to you. You're new, right? I'm Gillian. They say that Cypher Red is for loser duelists, but we'll show them a thing or two. I know, let's have a duel. Talk to me like before and challenge me to a duel. Directions. How to challenge someone to a duel. Press the person you want to challenge and press X over the menu. Select duel. This challenges the person standing nearby to a duel. So yeah, we just go down. You know, you saw it. Hit duel. Very well then, let's duel. So this creeper outside of our dorm will make a good guinea pig to show you what our deck can do. So uh, he's going to win RPS here. And he's going to take the first move. Alright. Essential basics. And this is something I really love about this series, the 3D models during the duels. They can be a little intrusive sometimes, you know, they don't really quite look- Oh my god, that hand is terrible. Anyway, um, they can be a little intrusive sometimes, like when you're just trying to play out your turn and uh, it shows them. But it, it's pretty cool, especially whenever it's like the, the actual characters from the show. Uh, just, it just feels like you're actually, uh, you're, you're actually in the world draw for turn and we did get a monster thank goodness all right so we're gonna summon our kappa avenger here and start with our umi nice okay so we're gonna go to battle phase and let's see what this guy's hiding and he is gonna play wabaku see this is what i mean they can be kind of intrusive um we know what this card does we have it in our own deck, and he is also playing Water. So, uh, yeah, this guy is a bit of a mirror match uh, for you, uh, if you, should you decide to duel him first. Uh, I, I like to just to kind of show off that, uh, you know, the, the, the mirror sort of thing that we got going on here, although our, our monster is a little bit tougher than his, and uh, the attack department, not so much the defense department, so he, he kind of wasted his Wabaku, but we're just going to pass our turn by setting those two cards in main phase two. He's summoning something. Oh, dang. That's bad. <laughs> so that's uh, one of those uh, 1800 beaters that I was talking about from our deck previously. So he's going to attempt to swing. And I am going to activate a back row. I think... I think I'm going to... Hmm. I think I'm going to play negate attack. I don't... I don't really think that it matters which one I pick here, because they both effectively do the same thing, but I don't know. I probably should have played Wabaku, because now it's going to ask me every turn if I want to activate it, but it's fine. So we're just going to draw for our turn. And there we go. That's what we wanted to see. Gaga Gigo, 1850 beater, just big enough. Uh, now the question is, do I want to equip anything? Oh, he's a reptile. He doesn't get the buff. Uh-oh, uh, so we do have the stem pack, though. So, I could equip it to him. But I think Kappa Avenger is a better target for this, because he will now be big enough. And, uh, I'd rather have Kappa Avenger lose attack every single turn, as opposed to, uh, Gaga Gigo. Also, it keeps the numbers nice and even, and that just, that just makes me feel better. Alright, not bad. We managed to turn things around. Pass our turn here.
We're gonna throw down a monster. All right, so. Let's see what we got. Drop the turn. Standby phase rolls around, and we're losing some attack on our Kappa Avenger, so he's gonna go down to 1900. Still pretty good, though. Gonna summon our Fiend Kraken here, and under normal circumstances, I'd probably try to hit with the Fiend Kraken first, but I think this is probably something, yeah, a little bit too big, so. There we go. Fiend Kraken's gonna hit directly. And Gaga Higo. No, I don't want to activate Wabaku. So, um, I guess this is probably a good time since, uh, you know, not a whole lot's happening in this duel to, to kind of explain um, a little bit about how, um, uh, what we're going to be doing in this game, I guess, is probably the best way to put it. So, uh, in this game, you're basically uh, trying to find a tag team partner for this big event. If you don't find one, you have to reset. It, it does not matter. It, it does not matter if you if if you have like all this progress, you have all these cards, and you spend all this time. It just resets you. So we're definitely gonna try to focus up. I'm gonna go ahead and ooh, uh, I'm gonna activate Wabaku here. Um, so we really need to focus up and pick somebody because that that three month time period for this game sounds long, but it, it's really not. It goes by super fast. I cannot tell you how many times as a kid I had to play through this game to try and get myself a tag partner. It was it was not fun. I mean, it was it was fun to to play through it, you know, but not multiple times. So we're gonna we're gonna try to focus up probably starting next episode after we get. Uh, get done with some of the basics of this game. We're, we're definitely going to be trying our hardest to get a, to get ourselves a tag team partner. I don't really know who I'm going to go for. Um, typically, the you know main characters of the actual anime, like Jaden, Cyrus, Chumley, Zane, all those guys, are typically they're the best partners to go for. But you can actually get these random NPCs, I believe. If, if not... In this game, you definitely can in later games. We'll have to fact check that because I can't remember because I always just wanted Jaden as my partner as a kid. Um, and we're going to swing for game with Gaga Gigo here. And there we go. We won our first duel with only 100 life points taken. So he's going to have a little defeat sequence, I guess, or defeat animation. And uh, this is our DP breakdown screen, so uh, anytime you win a duel, or even lose, uh, you'll get a little bit of DP. And um, I don't really know how the DP is determined, I think it might break it down for you. Not well, <laughs> apparently. Um, but yeah, uh, you, you'll get a, a certain amount of DP. It's usually about, about this much, um, like 500 to 600 is usually a decent range for you know, you're not doing a whole lot, like just normal summoning in a duel. And, uh, you know, playing maybe playing a spell or trap or two. You won, but don't let it get to your head. Let's duel again sometime. Alright. So why don't we go two doors down. And look at the guys. So, uh, everybody's gonna have, uh, all the main characters anyway, are gonna have these little, uh, little bubbles above their head that show their mood for the day. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure... It's mostly random uh, what their mood is. Uh, there, I think there's certain days probably where it's definitely not. But uh, anyway, um, that'll determine how likely they are to, to want to talk to you or, or become closer to you, to become your partner, that sort of thing. Uh, so uh, the little music notes means good things. So let's uh, let's have a talk with uh, with Jaden. Morning, Koji. Huh? You know, look down. Come on, man. You need to liven up. What do you want to talk about? So you can. Uh, you can talk about some thing, different things with them. Uh, each person obviously has different things that they're more interested in, and uh, I'm gonna go with duels for Jaden. Well, just the usual. He had an okay talk. So, um, depending on the talk, also, uh, you, you can become closer. Uh, let's talk to Cyrus. Hey, morning, Koji. Good morning. 
good mythical morning. Uh, it's not, don't, don't sue. Um, so let's talk about hobbies with Cyrus. And so he really liked that. <laughs> Just the person I wanted to see had a great talk. So that's, that's what he wanted to talk about. And Chumlin. Listen, Koji, people have their own schedules. Depending on the time of day, you might not be able to find who you're looking for. Keep that in mind. Do you want to talk, or what do you want to talk about? So, let's go with the Academy. Or actually, I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, you, you couldn't talk much. So, um, that's a pretty good showcase there. Um, you know, this is a neutral thing for, for Jaden that we got. Um, then this was a really good topic for Cyrus and a bad one for Chumley. So, um, obviously we grew the most with Cyrus here. Um, we could duel these guys, we could do something like that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and head out. Um, we could go in all these other rooms and check, but I don't think there's any other Slifer Reds that are of note. Uh, we can go in the cafeteria though. Just have a look around in here whenever it's not a cutscene. Can I talk to the fridge? <laughs> nope. Anyway. Uh, we'll go ahead and go out, and oh, keep getting stuck on things. Uh, I'd like to have one more duel before we move on. Let's let's see what we're what we're looking at here. Anybody over this way? Um, this guy down here, off to himself, and then there was a guy up here by the duel field. Um, let's go with this guy. I think he's uh, he's off by himself. See, you must be the transfer student, right? I'm Walter. Hey, heard anything super fun lately? Too bad. I want something fun to do. Well, you want something fun to do, buddy? Let's duel. Oh, it's you. Want a duel? Sure. I was bored anyway. Let's see if we can win this time. I'm gonna go paper. All right. Uh, so we'll take first this time. We saw how going first worked in the in the class earlier, but invoice from another planet that doesn't sound good. Uh, but now we'll actually see how it works in a good in a, an actual duel. Um. Well. Yeah, you know, um, could have been better. So we'll start with uh, Diane Keto, the Cure Master. She gained a little bit of, of life points. Um, oh man, this is not a good hand. Uh, I don't really know what to do here. I'm gonna summon Water Dragon Fairy just to see what happens. Oh, that's an 1800 attacker. Um, sorry for the silence, I'm just kind of like, the, the animations do kind of take a minute and I don't want to speed up through them because uh, I, I really, that's, that's probably my favorite part about this game is the animations. So, so it's a lot of damage. But um, they do take a minute and I kind of, I kind of just want you guys to, to get to look at them, get, get to experience it. Um, I'm gonna draw here. Oh, this goes to aquas, right? Oh, it's just waters. That's pretty good. It's only about 400, though. Um, so, we're gonna activate our Nightmare Steel Cage. We're gonna summon our Penguin. And we're gonna pass. Um, that is kind of a problem with our starting deck here. It is not exactly the best deck in the world. It's mostly vanillas with uh, some, you know, decent attackers and, and such in the deck. But it's it's not the worst. Let's see what we can pull here. Aqua type. So uh, you you're an aqua. See, unfortunately, the nightmare steel cage is not swords, so we can't attack through it. Um, Starboy is also an Aqua. I'm going to summon Starboy. And he does buff everything. So, hmm. 
How do we want to do this? You know, I could probably pass my turn. It doesn't feel great. I'm gonna do it though. Um, so, um, yeah, not not the greatest start here, but we're uh, we're making some moves. We're making some plays here. Okay, now that Nightmare Steel Cage is gone, we'll be able to attack on our next turn. Draw for turn. Kraken. All right. Uh, let's get Kraken. That was. Thick. I'm not even gonna finish. That's. It's terrible. Oh my god. Um, I'm gonna activate the steel shell, and we're gonna put it on our penguin, so that makes him bigger. And um, I'm gonna activate power of Kaishin, and I'm actually gonna give that to Starboy. We're also gonna summon our Kraken. And he's going to be 1700, and now we're going to go to battle. Let's, let's hope for the best, because he does have a lot of back row. Our penguin was actually always bigger. I, I forgot Starboy weakened uh, fire attributes, too. I, I still probably won't know what all of these cards do, even though I played this game like a thousand times, but it was mostly during my childhood when I barely knew anything about the game, and I thought the best deck in the game was Vanilla Beatdown, so... You know, I'm, I'm gonna have to relearn a lot of these cards uh, as we go. Um, at least a lot of these water cards. I, uh, I have a couple ideas for decks, let's just say. Very, very Koji-esque decks. I, I feel like we're gonna be trying to, to build in the future, so... Hope you guys are excited for that. Alien Skull. So he's playing aliens. That is what his deck theme thing, whatever meant. Unfortunately, yeah, he is gonna die. I was really hoping that he wasn't gonna have anything as big as Prey Angus again, but we were unfortunate. So this is a good card. I kind of am tempted to play it now. I might as well. We're gonna play Salvage um, as a one for one. It's not exactly good. Oh, I have to. Oh, I forgot that I, I had Water Dragon Fairy in my graveyard. All right, so it's actually not a one for one. Playing our Starboy back. Buffs our guys back up and go to battle. Uh, I'm gonna hit with Penguin because he's the biggest, and I feel like one of those cards is. I'm probably not reinforcements. I think he would have flipped reinforcements if that's what it was. Um, I really don't know these NPC decks very well at all. Um, for all I know, all these ciphers could have like fake traps set down all the time, and I'm afraid I'm about to run into Mirror Force, you know? You go for a Fiend Kraken hit, and he's gonna be down to a stack. So we we're doing we're doing okay. Um, doing okay here. Past turn. Let's see what he can do. He has card advantage. Sets a monster. Alright. So I think that's game. Regardless of what that set card is. So, yeah, return one monster. So, back to square one is actually a pretty decent card activate it here and we can discard that dead card in our hand or whatever and we're gonna activate it oh and he crop circles he's got a trap what does this do send any number of monsters from your side of the field to the graveyard to activate this card oh well that basically does the same thing his level is equal to the special summon oh he's summoning something else okay all right what do we got to deal with? Alien Gray. That was what he had set. So, yeah, back to square one's going to fizzle now because the target's gone. But I was going to say it's pretty good because it doesn't target face-up monsters specifically. It can target uh, face-down monsters too, which can be pretty nice. But uh, in that specific scenario, it, uh, didn't, it didn't really do its job. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this with Fiend Kraken.
All right. Two wins down. We had to struggle a little bit more for that one, but we got there. They all kind of say the same thing. I'm not going to... Um, every episode, I'm not going to show random duels against random duelists to get DP. Um, but I wanted to show the first couple duels that I did uh, with the uh, random NPCs. Just to, you know, kind of give you guys a gauge of what I'm going to be doing off camera. Uh, I'm just going to be grinding DP off camera so I can buy packs. I'm not going to be fighting anybody important uh, off camera. So it's just going to be like these guys. And, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, go. So now the whole island is opened up to us. So we can go over here to talk to Bastion, over here to, uh, you know, look at the sites, I guess. We can save. Um, but we have been going for a little while, so I'm about to end, I want to, I want to end it soon. However, I do want to go to the store. So we have our drawbreads here with this girl, and then uh, fans of the anime will know. Well, okay, this girl got my way. We'll know this guy. We'll, we'll end up talking to him next time. But uh, I, I would as much as I love a drawbread, I think I would much rather talk to you. Come on in. Hm, you're a new face. You new student. I love new students. The name's Dorothy. Nice to meet you. I'll work in this and in, in this here school store. Want to buy something? Hello, want some cards? Yes, I do. What are cards? I love that as an option. Um, so here we have some packs. Uh, I believe these are original packs to this game. Uh, so we have a couple things here. Like there's a fire attribute pack, there's a water. This is the dark one. Um, I might be uh, pulling from this as soon as I can. Um, this is a machine pack here. Uh, funny, because uh, North Academy, I believe, uh, we're going to be getting a machine pack. Uh, in the next uh, next session coming coming tomorrow or I guess the day of this uh, video's publishing so you know look forward to that uh, so we got uh, lucky economy uh, earth dwellers platinum light and uh, give the wind so you know that sort of thing and these are our generic packs uh, so a trap pack a monster pack spell pack um, yeah spell and trap pack I guess this is another one yeah. And then this is a, a pack that just has some vanillas in it. So, as you can see, these packs are pretty inexpensive, so we can afford you know, a pretty good amount. Let's um, let's get some effect monster packs. Let's go five, maybe. Yeah. And then we'll get, should we get step up, or should we get first spell? We'll, we'll go first spell. We'll get seven of these. Because spells are probably like the most valuable thing you could have at the like very start of um, of like a, a Yu-Gi-Oh deck type type thing. Now we're gonna hit our B button. I'm gonna start opening some packs. All right, so not law of the normal. Probably won't use that. Final Destiny probably won't use that. Main Plan probably won't use that. Uh, Curse of Fiend maybe. And Wabaku, another copy of that's actually not bad. Uh, I will be doing deck edits off camera too. And I'll just uh, show you guys any changes. Maybe even do the card by card if it's uh, if it's enough. Uh, ooh, life force sword. That's not bad actually. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just gonna you know do this little let all these packs go for for a little bit while I talk uh, a little bit about this game and uh, and some and things and uh, maybe comment on the cards as they come out. Um, this series is the start of. Um, of like a, I guess, oh, cold wipe. That's a good card. Anyway, uh, of like a, I guess like a, like a group of series that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be trying to play all tag force games and finishing finishing them on this channel. Zero gravity is a good card. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna go all the way to five. If I can find a version of six online, that's uh, ooh, windstorm's good too. That's uh, in English. I'll probably play it too. So uh, look forward to that if you like these Tag Force games. They're pretty nostalgic to me, um, even though I only played this one like when I was really young. But they're, they're some of the most fun uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games out there. If you guys don't have the chance to, or didn't have the chance to play them uh, as they were coming out, if you didn't have a PSP or a PS2, um, the emulator that I'm using is, is uh, PPSSPP. It's really good. 
uh, you, you should you should try using it to play in these games. It's it's really nice to be able to go back and play some retro Yu-Gi-Oh. I know a lot of the the player base <laughs> player base is kind of mad at the format right now in uh, in modern Yu-Gi-Oh being dominated by Ishizu tier. So you want to play some older formats, but you don't want to go on Dueling Book or something like that. You just want to play against some NPCs, have yourself a good time. Uh, these games are great for that. We've been getting kind of bad monsters. I say that as I get Dark uh, Wall of Illusion. Um, so honestly, Wabaku's probably the only thing I might put in Light Force Sword just because it's funny. Um, Grave Robbers are rare, but it's not very good. Uh, Cold Wave is a really good card, but I don't think it's worth playing at the start because, like I've said, there's not many cards that your opponent's really gonna like play. It might be worth playing um, against some like actual named NPCs like Jaden and stuff, uh, which we will be playing against some people like that next time. So uh, you know what? Maybe this will see the main deck. Uh, simultaneous loss is kind of funny too. Zero Gravity is pretty good, which is the battle mode. It's essentially like another uh, negate attack or uh, Wabaku, something like that. Uh, Windstorm, same thing. Uh, anything else? So, no, we got some Dark Sages. I'm not going to be playing Dark Magician. Flash Assailant's decent if you like plan on playing your entire hand. But who knows? Maybe we'll get to that point. Flying the Little Goblins, 1800. He's decent, but I don't think I'm playing a deck with him. Hunter with Seven Weapons is one of my favorite artworks uh, for a retro card, but not quite good enough. Uh, Ancient Lamps, only good really if you have Lejin, which we don't. His massive 1800 attack points escape us as we look at Four Soldier with 2k, but he's also not very good. Steel Scorpion, not, not very good. Visor Shock, I, I think he's actually not the worst card in the game, but like. Not very good either. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gear Freed's an 1800 attacker. Uh, fans of the uh, original anime will know uh, this card from Joey's deck. Uh, Cryul is kind of cool. I might play him in a deck that I'm trying to make in the future. Just in like maybe when it's in its infancy. Because this is a funny card and I like this card. So it's a coin flip card. Uh, Cat's Ear Tribe. I don't really know anything about this card. It's a the original attack. The opponent's monster that battles this card during his return turn becomes 200 points. That's it's kind of it's kind of funny, I guess. Uh, this is more of a Koneko card than a Koji card, though. Um, I don't even want to know what the heck that is. Karate Man. I mean, he's he's Karate Man. Uh, Wall of Illusion, though, is a card that I'm definitely going to be playing in some capacity. I'm probably not going to pivot away from the water strategy anytime soon, unless I get some really good cards. But this is a good one. Um, it's splashful in just about any deck. It's got good stats. Well, good defense, anyway. And uh, it bounces an opponent's monster back to the hand after battle, so that's pretty damn decent. But other than that, guys, that's going to be it for our pack opening. So, I, uh, you know, I always like a good pack opening, as I'm sure some of you guys do. And um, I think, you know, we've, we've been going for long enough. This is probably a bit of a longer episode. I'm going to try to keep these episodes closer to 30 minutes in the future if I can. But uh, I feel like this is a good place to stop. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode, and I hope to see you in the next one.